This thing used to boggle my mind. When I started creating content a couple of years ago, I was always questioning if it was working. I was always looking at it and thinking, what's the point? Like I'm doing this, but how do I know if it's working? I am willing to stick with something for a very, very long time without seeing results if I know it's going to get me results. It's not so much that I was rushing to get the result, although of course I wanted the results as quickly as possible, but I wanted to see that eventually it was going to lead there. I wanted to know that eventually if I keep going on this path, I was going to create content that I loved, that people actually enjoyed and paid attention to and watched and consumed, that I was going to get clients, that I was going to get all these things. Okay, so it was very discouraging to create without knowing if I'm going on the right path. And it wasn't just content, it's everything and anything I created. I needed to know that I was progressing towards something. And this is because I was so used to not just immediate gratification, but short term results, like quicker feedback. So most of my life before that, anything I created, I've done any business that I've tried, it was it was something that was already existing. So I knew what product I was selling. I knew how, who I was selling it to. I knew how to sell it. I knew how to market it. And if I didn't know, there was a way to figure it out. There was a way to test and get feedback quickly. I was making money. So it was like, okay, I can see that this is getting somewhere. And now I just have to double down on what's working. And it was relieving, <laughs> right? It was, it was easier to operate from that place. But then when you're creating something that is a reflection of who you are, when you're creating something that is based on your discovering your purpose, your passions, bringing your full self-expression, a creative act, it's not so clear because you are not walking an existing path. You are literally creating a new path towards something that is part undiscovered, part uncreated. So you're creating it and discovering it at the same time, and you are creating a whole new path, a whole new way to get there. So there's not anyone out there or anything you can mimic. Sure, you can get help. Sure, you can get guidance. Sure, you can you can copy someone else's path in some ways, but you have to carve it out for yourself. And this applies to any kind of business, by the way, but especially to this kind of creation. Here's what helped me. First of all, what helped me more than anything is understanding the lag between cause and effect. The things that we are seeing today in our lives, the results that you have, the big pillars that you can think of, they're not things you did yesterday or last month or even last year most of the time. They are seeds you've planted a long time ago. And those things can take much longer than expected to materialize. It's also the second, third, and fourth, and tenth order consequences of our actions and of things that happen to us. So it helps to know that even though every day we start with a clean slate, there's always the byproduct of yesterday and the day before and the day before that we have to work with and work through. There is no escaping the effects of our actions in the past. And just simply knowing and learning the lesson doesn't undo the effect. So sometimes we have to work through the things that we've done in the past when we didn't know any better. The second and most important thing was to pay attention to signals that I wasn't really trained to look at as an entrepreneur. So I was always looking at metrics. I was always looking at KPIs. Of course, that's what we are used to looking at in marketing. But also there is this whole inner growth, which is really, really the signal that you need to be looking for when you're not seeing any results. So any form of inner growth means that you're going in the right direction, even if you're not seeing the signs in the outer world. For example, if you are seeing that you have thicker skin, you have more mental clarity, you have more self-confidence, you have better skills, you are improving, you are showing up better. Any form of inner growth of you showing up from a better, higher place means that the thing that you're working on is working. That's because things change internally in our being before they change externally in the material world. So you have to notice it changing within yourself and then once you go through the lag of time, once you get to the effect, then you start to see it materialize in the outer world. I really shot myself in the foot by setting this five minute limit to this video challenge. By the way, if you've missed it, I've been making videos every day and I said I was going to make a video every day by 9 a.m. 
and every week I was challenging myself even more. So the last challenge was to make a video that's less than five minutes. <laughs> and here we are already past five minutes. And that's why I was like a deer in headlight looking at the timer and pausing and stuff. So anyway, now that I'm past five minutes, I might as well just keep going. Yeah. So really sincerely, this is, this is my best advice to you because I know how painful it was when I was going through it. Okay. It was really, really freaking hard. It has always been very hard to do the thing without knowing if things are going to work, which is very normal in business. That's, you have to get comfortable with being uncertain, but there is another level of uncertainty where feedback takes so long to show up where you're doing the thing, you're trying your best and you don't even have any signal, any sign that this thing is going to work. And it's so freaking tough. Make sure you surround yourself with people who are going to help you and support you. Other creators, other entrepreneurs who are in that mind space. It's so important that you are surrounded with those people and make sure you remind yourself that cause and effect is a thing that is inescapable and that good things genuinely take time to materialize. Um, of course, we can talk all we want about, you know, quantum leaps and whatnot. And these things do happen. Sometimes we have a huge shift, positive shift in our life that we didn't expect but even though it seems like it's sudden it really is the buildup of things along the way so for example i can think of um, this one person i i supported i did my best with no expectation and that person ended up you know being a cmo for a multi-million dollar business and got me a couple of really good deals with that business so things like that they do happen but there nothing happens in a vacuum nothing in existence happens in a vacuum we just don't understand why it got to that point but it did for a very sound reason. And the third thing is to keep an eye on the inner signals of change, your growth, your inner growth, because truly, truly, truly like a seed, like a plant, everything grows internally in the being before it materializes in the physical world. So if you remind yourself that what you create is a reflection of who you are, and if you, you, the person, the creator, you are showing up from a better and higher place, you can guarantee that the creation that's going to come out of you is going to be showing up from a better and higher place. So that's what we mean by trusting the process and trusting the way, or as Rumi said, as you walk or as you keep walking, the way appears. I don't know if that was the quote, but it was something along those lines. If I butchered it, please put in the comments. I also would love to hear from those of you who have gone through it or who are going through it right now. Please share wherever you're seeing this. We all need to be reminded that we are not alone. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.